right, ladies and gentlemen, we got full rules Muay Thai coming at you with three rounds of action coming out of the red corner. They, I'm sorry, they changed that back to modified rules Muay Thai. Three rounds of action still. Coming out of the red corner, he's wearing the blue camo trunks, great camo trunks, 145 he's weighing in at. He represents Pure MMA in his debut match from Denville, New Jersey, Mike Amorisano. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the black trunks with the red trim and weighing at 144. He represents the Fight Lab with an 0-1 record from New Jersey, Yun Kim. That gentleman went over the rules in the dressing room. Any questions here? Any questions here? Fight fair, fight hard, touch gloves. Back it up. So here we go. Yoon Kim and Michael Amorosano set to do battle here on Friday Night Fights at 145 pounds. We're underway here in the first of three scheduled, scheduled rounds and a, immediately a low blow here. Kim able to shake it off, the two fighters touching gloves. Amorosano making his debut, but he takes a tumble with Yoon Kim right on top of him. Good dump there from Kim. Amorisano is 19 years of age. This is his first official fight. Yoon Kim in his second bout. He made his debut on Friday Night Fights back in June of 2017. Lost a unanimous decision to Vadim Verhoglad. Both guys look polished. I just don't like how Yoon Kim is throwing himself, slipping punches to his right. A little bit too much boxing for Mike Chirico's taste. If Amorisano times a nice left leg, he's going to be eating it right in the face. And Kim turns his back for a moment. Amorisano pouncing on him. Nice knee to the body. A couple of knees to the body for Amorisano. And Amorisano gets dumped there. These guys are one and one in the clinch right now. But you good speed, good pace. Yoon Kim in the black and red trunks. Amorisano in the black and gray pattern trunks, the fatigue trunks. Nice left and and slip by Yoon Kim. Kim's okay. pretty slick with the head movement. He's definitely getting out of the way of the punches. And a nice dump there. Muscles of Morisano to the ground. Style points for the walk-off. Indeed. You're watching Friday Night Fights, brought to you by Mohegan Sun Resort and Casino. You're seeing Yoon Kim on the right side of your screen going up against Michael Morisano. This one total fight between these two men coming into action tonight. Leg kick by Kim is met with a punch combination from Amorisano, and that's how we end our first round. Kim is making a miss. Amorisano's got to do a better job setting up his punches and not just throwing one at a time. Because Kim's got some slick movement there. I would just like to see him counter a little bit better off of it. Fits to his own. The head coach at the fight lab instructing his fighter, Yoon Kim. Who last time we saw him back in 2017 fought at 154. Now he's at 145, so prefers the lower weight actually. Amorisano, though, has been getting those arms extended and working those knees as well in his debut. However, we did see Kim with a couple of nice dumps yep. and takeovers in that round. Yep. Here's a good dump here coming up. Nice pull over. So kind of some good moments for both of these fighters. Kim at 27 years of age, Michael is just 19. Here we go, round number two. No bell tonight, so it's tough to see when, you know, hear when the rounds are ending. And there he is again, slipping off to the side like that. Jab to the body for Yoon Kim. Morisano trying to come forward with knees. Another nice dump by Yoon Kim. And there's the experience factor there. Only one fight, but a lot more training time for Yoon Kim. Definitely. Takes him off his foot again. And it looked like Morisano was fixing to go up high. And Yoon Kim went down low and took the feet right out from under him. I like to see him more sound like fake that he's throwing his hands and set up that switch kick or a left kick. 
Might be able to get Kim to slip right into it. Again, it's Yoon Kim towering over Morisano after the successful dump. Kim nice two stiff inches jab. Two, Kim two inches shorter than Amorisano. He's 5'8. Michael is 5'10. But Kim just throwing Amorisano around right now. Amorisano's trying to be aggressive and coming forward, but he's got to be in control, especially the way Kim is slipping those punches. He's got to set him up better. Again, if you're only throwing punches, your opponent only has to worry about that's what you're throwing. It's much easier to slip and be defensive. Head kick try by Kim, blocked away. He does look very comfortable in there, does Yoon Kim. Pulling down on the back of the head as he landed that right hand. Got to be careful of that, says Chris Wagner. Final seconds of action here in round two, and there's the bell. Leg kick for Kim. Straight right for Morisano. I think Kim pulled it away again that round. Morisano's down two to none. And hopefully his corner's got some good advice going into this third round to set something up. When are you going to get in there and judge a fight, Mike? What's going on? We like to see you back in the ring, but you have a pretty good eye for the judging as well. Uh, I hate letting fights go to the judges, so I don't know if I'd actually, you know, really enjoy it. Especially, it's tough. When you got two guys that are close, it's, it's, you know, it's tough again, like, not to let the excitement get to you. At the end of a round, there's a flurry. Does that make you forget about what happened the other three quarters of the round, you know? So it's not a judge, it's not a, a job, uh, you know, I not, really not want. When you, not when yeah, you cover. Not, exactly, not a job that I envy, for sure. Well, Mike Tirico, when he's not beating people up inside the ring, he's running the Westchester Fight Club. Four-time WKA national champion, 12-1 and one record. And my broadcast partner tonight as we watch Yoon Kim take on Michael Amorisano and a couple of nice shots for Yoon Kim in the early going of round three. It's a 145-pound fight, and Yoon Kim's only other bout, he fought at 154, said he much prefers the lower weight, and we're seeing him exercise a lot of strength in the clinch, especially against Michael Amorisano. I thought Kim was loose and relaxed in the first two rounds, but opening up this third round, he really started letting these hands go. Up, oh, spinning back kick. It came up empty, Yoon Kim saw it coming. Native of Seoul, South Korea, now calls Little Ferry, New Jersey, his home. Amorisano comes from Denville, New Jersey. Good knee. Good knee from Amorisano as well. Trying to get those legs extended, use that height advantage if he can. Kim has been in control, though, for much of this bout. I mean, Amorisano's got to know he's down on the cards. I'd like to see him more aggressive coming forward and trying to finish this fight. Reset there after the dump from Yoon Kim. 40 seconds Ooh, left in the bout, a teep up high. Kim sees an opening here. He's all over Amorisano. Chris Wagner keeping a close eye on him. Seeing if his eyes are still there, and he's still in the fight. Sweep there, and Amorisano saying there was a low blow in the mix as well. Final seconds here. Yoon Kim basically just has to avoid a knockout to seal this one up. And there is your final bell. Good fight between a couple of up and comers and Yoon Kim and Michael Amorisano. Yoon Kim seemed very composed in there for only having one fight. I was surprised with his record by his composure in there. So slick, let Amorisano come to him and was composed when Amorisano was throwing punches and bunches at the end. And that left hook and, a, and the teep up to the, to the chin, really. That hurt him. Sparkling moments for Yoon Kim in that third round. As you can see, calm, composed, relaxed. And Kim following right up with a left hook, overhand right combo. Landing good leg kicks. Kim was dropping that left hand as he was throwing him. I mean, he definitely has some, has some great points and some things to work on after this fight, but 
He's got to be happy with that performance. For the official decision, we send it up to our ring announcer, Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we do have a win by unanimous decision in favor of Yoon Kim. So all three judges see it Yoon Kim's way. He does indeed pick up his first fight. And after a couple of early shots from Morisano, he really was in control the rest of the way. Definitely. Kim was calm, composed, did everything right for this fight.